living in some of the hardest hit areas are still working to get things back to normal. And one of those places is Jacksonville's North Shore neighborhood. Many people who live on West 60th Street saw serious damage. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is joining us live there with an update on uh, any progress they're making. Ethan? Well, can take a look at these massive piles of debris lining the street. This is what they're dealing with here. This is actually considered progress, and so many living on this street have had damage to their cars and homes. I could see everything from the ground, like everything was flying. Anything that was out, it was flying. So that's what made me go in the house. I, I didn't see no more after that. Mm. I ran. For this North Shore resident, Monday's storm packed a serious punch. She and seven family members took shelter in their home on West 60th Street just in time for the system to move through. So I closed the windows, and that's when we heard all the boom with all the trees falling. And we saw the wires popping with the power lines and stuff. It was scary. All four of their cars parked out front were damaged by falling debris, one of them even getting the windows blown out. I yelled for my daughter, and we ran inside our laundry room and, and basically hid. Right across the street, Michelle McGinnis wasn't spared from the damage. She and her husband's house fared well in the storm, but the same couldn't be said for their minivan. A California native, McGinnis says this was a new experience. I grew up in Los Angeles. We have earthquakes, so we could walk around and you never know when one's going to happen. But knowing that, you know, we got warning that a tornado was coming and we could see clouds swirling. And when you hear all the wind and the power, it's very, very scary. Very scary. We have some leakage in the back, but it didn't cave in. So we were safe. That was the main thing that everybody was safe. And both of those women say luckily they do have insurance, but still some of these repairs will be paid for out of their own pockets. They're just trying to get things back to normal tonight. We're live on the north side, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you.